All right, welcome back. It's Back to the Basics. I'm Sean Barr, and today we're talking SSH versus Telnet. Encrypted? Not encrypted? Let's find out. Let's go! All right, we're back, and we are talking SSH versus Telnet. So look, before we get into it, why would you use SSH or Telnet? Well, if you're managing network equipment, you're probably pretty familiar with these two uh, methods. So essentially it's a, it's a shell. It's a way to control a device or get a terminal that gives you command line capability. So if I Telnet to a device or I SSH to a device, it's me from my desktop connecting to another device via an IP address or a DNS name, and then I get some type of console back, meaning it's it's really just text. So it could be a command line console like a command prompt, or it could be a graphical text-based user interface. So it's typically used to just control a device. So make changes to it, configure it, those types of things, like a, for example, a router or a switch, if I wanted to configure it, I would SSH or Telnet to it so that I could make configuration changes to make it do something different. So when we talk about Telnet and SSH, we're really talking about an encrypted protocol versus an unencrypted protocol. So why is encrypted important? In a network, you have the capability to monitor traffic so I could do it either through a span port or potentially uh, if I had a tap on on the Ethernet connection that means I'm getting a copy of all the data and you initiated a telnet session when you logged into that device and put in your username and your password credentials those would be passed through the network in clear text meaning if I had Wireshark or a capture device that's giving me what's going through the network I would see your password and I wouldn't need to decrypt it. I wouldn't need to do anything else. And I'd also see your username and I would be able to get access to the network. So inherently SSH is more secure because if I put in my username and password, all of that is sent over the network encrypted. So all of my command line syntax, all of my configuration, everything is encrypted. With Telnet, it's in clear text. So if you're running a network today and Telnet's enabled, you should do your best to one, disable Telnet, and two, enable SSH. So that way, if you're logging into a device, no one can get your credentials and potentially have access to a key piece of network infrastructure in your environment. So those are the two main differences between SSH and Telnet, encrypted and unencrypted. If I said anything in this video that you'd like, hey, I'd love to know more about it, make sure you leave a comment, like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next Back to the Basics. Thanks for watching.